Day 15. Okay, day 15. In search of the next beacon, the third squad is now crossing damp yet verdant volcanic lands. Human movement has been observed in the area, and the rest of it skipped before I could read it. Fortunately for you guys, you can just go back and read it. Lucky you. Alright, day 29, the volcanic tundra. Alright, so this should be warmer, right? I shouldn't get cold very fast. We'll find a new home for our people. I know we will. Didn't you, didn't you already say that? Hmm. Large feathers. An enormous bird passed this way. It must be formidable indeed to survive in this environment. The squad should take care. I'm sorry if I'm talking an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs> I get this is supposed to be an atmospheric game, and I might just be ruining that. According to data collected... Can I just pick data or data? Just stick with one? Am I British or American? I have to decide. According to... Data collected from the other beacons, the squad should be able to find the next beacon in the vicinity. The scouts just need to find its exact location so they can continue their quest to the Dome of Domes. Sounds good. Well, this place is much more pleasant. Still a lot of ash in the air, but... How does that work, though? If there was a bunch of ash in the air, wouldn't it suffocate all the planets that need oxygen to survive? I'm not a scientist. I don't know these things. But... That's just... That's what I think. Just on my based on my limited knowledge. Catch this just being a dark walking sim. I'm just kidding. It's pretty cool so far. Oh, that is a big bird. I literally just noticed that right before walking into it. Do I want to walk into the bird? Can we just walk past the bird? No, we cannot walk past the bird. All right. The vulture. Fifty yards ahead, the squad members spy a strange creature that looks like some kind of vulture. The creature is searching for prey, picking through the ashes, disturbing burrows and blocking their path. Okay. Well, a vulture is a scavenger, not a fighter, and it seems preoccupied, so... The creature resembles a bird the size of a man with a decent body. A decent body? Ignore me. With a burnt body and scattered tufts of feathers, it walks. Air quotes for some reason on its wings. Preoccupied by its search for food, it has not yet noticed the squad. Oh, okay. We have some options. Chase it away and keep traveling, wait for it to leave, lay a trap attack by surprise. Well, I think we could just take this by surprise. It's a vulture thing, not a fighter, and it's busy. I'm not going to bother laying a trap. That's my... Oh, I have a lot of wood, but I don't need to use my wood. So, let's attack. We, just, we seem violent. <laughs> the squad decides to attack the vulture. The vulture is more vicious than they had imagined. It wounds Sin with one brutal slash of its talons and then tries to escape. Just before it does, Petra manages to block the bird's path and kill it. The squad members dissect the carcass for meat. Alright, we got food. Sin's a little injured again. It's okay, he beefy boy. He got this. Oh, we do? We are getting cold. We're getting very cold. Alright, let's collect this and make camp. More firewood! Never enough. Oof. What happens if- Oh, I probably take health damage. Yeah. Alright. We have so much firewood. Fire. Fire. Uh. Do we need more fire? If we're gonna rest here. Do we make the same mistake? Yes. Because I, I, I had so much firewood around. I'm probably okay. Oh, Sin healed in between levels, so, like, he's not even that hurt anymore. Cool! Everyone's dejected. Oh, defeatist. Defeatist. So, they're not dejected, but they're the next worst thing. Alright, who's hungry? This is gonna overfill your bars, and I don't like wasting food. So you shall rest first, and then you shall eat. The, your god declares it. I control your life. I get to choose what... Alright, needs rest. Uh, Mosi, Sin, and Petra. So, you guys should rest. Oh, they get hungry if they haven't eaten. I mean, that works. That works. Then they don't overfill the bars and waste food because 
Why do I care so much? Anyways... Because I have to put someone to watch, which means that I can't have two people chat. Oh well. So chatting... Oh, chatting gives... Optimism? Hope? Whatever. Nah. Well, danger is very low. I can probably just have them chat. I don't need a guard, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're fine. We're Gucci. We're cool. Let me watch something attack us. Like, what was it? 18% chance? You have to be careful what you do here, my fresh little recruit. Jeez. One false move and everything can come crashing down. I don't think that running and hiding are the answer to everything. That's fair. No, that's true. Sometimes things go wrong. But at my age, it's running and hiding that have kept me alive, even though I'm a pathfinder. Oh, Nadir's older, I guess. Although it seems like Callie's by far the youngest. I wonder how old Nadir is. The Force March. Callie has begun to suffer from unbearable cramps from the fatigue of the march and the long hours spent in hostile weather conditions. Ooh, Callie is tired. Okay, so I guess I need to make- I need to let Callie rest. Oh, god darn. I just... I could rest again. This time I have to put a watch. But I want to just keep traveling. You know, you know what? It's fine. I don't think I've got a time limit running. Let's go ahead and let Callie rest. And then... Uh, you can watch Sin and Petra and Nadir shall chat, right? Actually, wait, Nadir has more hope, and he you, he has more energy, right? Oh, well, it's going to use energy in Sin's full now. Okay, it's fine. Sin doesn't need hope. He's, he's got chunk. Petra turns on the radio. Operator, this is Captain Petra Caldera of the 3rd Squad. Do you read me? The operator, reading loud and clear, Third Squad. Any news? Well, I saw a rat yesterday morning. Seriously, Pathfinder Nadir. Oh, he calls him Pathfinder. Is it Nadir or Nadir? I'm probably in a It's fine. The bird of doom, a vulture, circles above the squad and is gradually joined by others. Sin casts the meager remains of his meal at them, which lets the scavengers fighting amongst themselves. The squad is discouraged. Oh, come on. I didn't even give you any food, Sin. What you doing? Okay. I think Callie should be better now. Right, you eat. You eat. I spent so much time in this camp. Sheesh. You eat. I think Nadir is good. Yeah, I'll save that. Okay. Cool. Everyone's in great condition now. Nadir is a little tired, but he's got a lot of energy. He'll be okay. I realize that this game might not be the funnest, most exciting way to start off my channel. <laughs> I guess it's it's kind of slow, and we. Well, I mean that's just the name of the game. That's how it's supposed to be. But yeah, it's not it's not super exciting. So maybe not the best way. I would just make the algorithm hate me, aren't I? Just do everything wrong. Do like a two-hour video to start instead of a thirty-minute one. Make it to something not well known or hugely interesting. <sighs> but I'm enjoying myself, and that's what matters. Ooh, medicine. We do not have much of that. Uh, go ahead and collect it, Petra. Give that to the deer. Give that to the deer. And we have food. Can you go ahead and collect that? Thank you. I'm sorry, I have like... Oh, Sin made a vow. Bang. Where am I going? Oh, there's a little open here. Um, I was going to say something, and then Sin interrupted me, and I forgot. Darn you, Sin. By the way, I apologize if the lighting is inconsistent, because I'm currently... My lighting is currently all natural. Uh, <laughs> I have an actual little light fixture coming tomorrow, I think. But the one I had was pathetic and didn't work. All right. The ruin. In an ancient village, the squad reaches a ruin buried beneath layers of volcanic rock and ash. One building seems more easily accessible than the others. <laughs> Dear, come on. Come on. Come on. You're no fun. We shall search the ruin. The squad decides to search the ruin. 
Inside, there's li li there's little of interest, but the stone roof provides some. I cannot read some insulation and much needed shelter from the wind and ash. The squad members c can rest here for a while and warm their bones. Did I seriously just waste all that time in a camp just to come across the? Blue rest, I guess. The squad decides to rest in the room. The squad finally gets to relax a little. They lay down their equipment, stretch and settle in. They decide to remain awake and vigilant nonetheless. But the refuge provides some much needed rest. Very cool. Do we get hope from this, maybe? The squad members begin to talk with each other. Callie guides their discussion, encouraging other members to share their feelings and listen to each other. That night, from beneath the scout's masks, the sound of tears and laughter could be heard. Oh. I like Callie. She seems a lot more hopeful than the more aged or experienced Pathfinders. A few hours later, the squad sets off full of hope. Yes! Ah, look at all that hope. Oh, come on, the deer. You're never happy. Alright, so yeah, we did. We did just waste all that. All that time in camp. Just to. It's fine. This is fine. And more resources. At the exit of the room, the squad finds fresh tracks on the ground. Probably humans who are used to walking in the ash. Oh. So we were being scouted out? Or did we just miss them and they didn't notice us? Oh! More medicine. Um. Okay. Here, hold that. Humans who are used to walking in the ashes. The only people we've heard of so far at all are the savages. So I'm going to assume... Savages. Hopefully, it's not the hound because they don't like us after Sin broke their leader's neck. Restraint. Incredible restraint. Uh, food. Do we need food? Not really. Oh, you can hold more, but it will tire you more quickly. Oh, that makes sense because I was like, what are these for? Like, can you not use them? So Nadir has a lot of energy, but holds very little, and if you put more stuff, he will tire faster. Is that worth it, I wonder? Why can't I see how much energy he has at some point? He had 30, right? Same as Petra? Yeah. Hmm. If he had more than her, I'd probably give him more stuff, and then he would tire faster, but that would be okay. I don't think... I think I, I've got a lot of food. I don't need food. I got eight. Like, how much do I use four max in one camp? So I've got at least two camps of food. So I think I'm good. I don't want to overload anyone if I don't have to. Oh. The vultures. Oh, sheesh. That's... The squad members hear sounds coming from the north. A savage wrapped in swaths of cloth is being attacked by three gaunt vultures thirsting for blood. Oh. The dead! <laughs> Bruh! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we will go Callie's route. Save the savage. We have a lot of medkits. We should be fine. The squad decides to save the savage. The scouts launch into action and attract the vulture's attention to them. Beasts notice their approach, but give the poor savage and adolescent no respite. Respite or respite? Respite. Distract them with food. No, 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 no. Attack it on. Right. And a deer. No, we're gonna attack. We're, we're full of health. We got a bunch of med packs. We got a lot of everything. Squad decides to attack the vultures. Sin draws his weapon and charges into attack, slashing violently at the beast. The vultures don't let up their own attack for even a second. Yeah, there are a few of them this time, not just the one. After a few minutes, one of the vultures is seriously injured by Sin's blade. Seeing this, the others beat a hasty retreat. The squad members catch their breath and assess their wounds. Okay, so... Oh, wow, the deer is squishy. Mm. But it's okay, because we saved the guy, right? Right? Meanwhile, the savage has disappeared from the squad's sight. Huh. That's gratitude for you. Uh, Petra gets cold so fast. Jeez. What's this? It's wood. Do we need wood? Can I give this to people or do I have to be in camp to do it? I have to be in camp to do it. Eh, I'm good. I don't need wood. I think having four men kits is a good idea, even though I probably don't need all four of them. This triangle, square, circle, 
upside down triangle confuses me. It almost feels like it should be like the PlayStation button keys and this should be an X. But then again, if this was on the PlayStation, I doubt you would use the main function buttons just to change characters. We do not know. That's a lot of food. Maybe we should... Uh, yeah, we're cool. Alright, you know what? Let's camp and then collect some stuff because we're just leaving everything behind. And I feel like it's better to use up some resources, get into peak condition, and then regather more. Fire! Uh, we'll just use two, because we should be good. Yeah. And then food. Oh yeah, this is a good idea, because people are hungry. Oh my god, Sin eats a lot. We'll give him the rest after rest, I suppose. And the deer is hungry too. I think that's just full, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him that. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, fire increases hope, too. Cool. Uh, who needs to rest? Nadir and Petra need to rest. Okay. Rest, rest. I got 11% chance of danger. Eh, eh, you guys can just talk. Oh, you already have full hope. But Sin doesn't, so we shall, we shall fill the hope and hope that no one attacks and messes up our attempts at filling up our hope. Are you writing about me, kid? Okay. Nope, I'm drawing you for my expedition journal. <laughs> Can I see? Not until I finish. I like Kelly. I mean, it, it's interesting. Somebody managed to sneak throughout the camp. The worrying part, nobody saw them. Oh my god. 11% chance, folks. Good thing there's food right here, because I just lost food. Oh my god, time goes fast. Oh, I should, I should get going. Oh wait, I didn't feed them. Uh, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Now, dear, you have a lot of energy. Collect some stuff. Thank you. I'm sorry, but OCD demands I short stuff. <laughs> Can I go back and get the click for every movement. Get the, get the wood. The blood marks are interesting. Click, 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 click. Ah, here it is. Yes. Uh, no deer. Collect some stuff. Be a deer. <laughs> get it. I'm sorry. The walking continues. Oh, this is mist, not ash. It takes away your warmth. Huh. What exactly? What kind of apocalypse was this exactly? I need my smarter brother to explain this to me. Haha! <laughs> Self-deprecating jokes. I am very funny. The ambience is really quiet. I hmm. I kind of like it. The atmosphere of this game. I feel like I should stop yelling because it feels really calm. <laughs> More firewood. Uh, never mind. That's a bit of everything. Okay. Let's take some food. Why are you cold? We just camped. I guess I camp and take the fire. I'm wasting so much time. Alright. There's so much firewood there. I'm just gonna straight up build a giant campfire. We're gonna get warm, and then we're just gonna take that wood and go. And also, I want to free some inventory space, so here. Beautiful. Fire. Fire fire. For the love of God, stay warm. Thank you. Also, I never got to feed you guys. I'm so sorry. Callie's hungry again, too. I think that's about... just about... Oh, wait. It's just less than full. Alright, cool. Yes, I'm obsessed with not wasting anything. <laughs> and then I probably am like, let's just set up camp and use up everything, because I've got extra. I definitely am not a hypocrite. Okay, who's tired? Uh, Petra and Nadir again. They're a little bit tired, but not really. 18% chance. Do I set a guard? I don't... Uh, no one needs to talk except Petra. Who needs to rest because she gets tired so... No, wait, she's got 30, right? Let's let her talk with... Callie. And we'll have Sin guard. Okay. I never do the exploring. I, I don't need anything, so like... Why are you looking at me like that, recruit? Fruit. 
Nothing, I was just thinking of my mother. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I remember those protests. It should never have ended up like that. Don't mention it. It was years ago. Okay. Hmm? Context, please? No? The smog. The squad is engulfed in thick yellow fog. The air is still breathable, but the stench of sulfur is close to unbearable. This is why you don't waste time. Okay, this is fine. It's fine. Let's just, let's go. Was I supposed to feed someone after resting? Is everyone good? That one's good. Alright, cool. Let's collect that firewood. Uh, oh shoot, now Petra's tired. Let's <laughs> see has energy now. It's fine. Petra's broken. Just gonna... Eh. Alright, beautiful. Alright. You're warm. I, I swear, she'll probably get warm before she's tired. Get cold before she's tired again. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how much ground we can cover uh, before we have to rest again. Well, we didn't get very far. The trap. In the middle of the tundra, a vulture screeches in pain. Closer inspection reveals a vulture is ensnared in a trap made of wooden stakes, cables, and ropes. The prey must belong to someone. And we probably shouldn't, shouldn't touch it. No. Uh, I'm gonna side with Nadir for once. Don't don't touch it. The squad decides to leave the vulture in the trap. Better not take any risks. Mm -hmm. Barely minutes later, three savages swap swathed in cloth and rudimentary camouflage appear. They head over to the trap and kill the creature. They have not spotted the squad. Uh, go to meet them. I don't see why not. The squad decides to go and meet them, taking care not to surprise them. Callie start, talks to them as she approaches, hands in the air, followed closely by the others. The savage hunters are surprised and mistrustful, but far from threatening. Cool. The squad members talk with the savages for a while. The savages tell them they are western nomads. Most important of all, the beacon the squad is looking for is in the middle of their camp. Just tell the squad they have to leave. A few minutes later, they have completely vanished into the bushes with their prey. Okay, they didn't seem particularly friendly. Hopefully, that's not going to be an issue getting to the beacon in the middle of their camp. Oh boy, we will, uh, we'll see. I still want to try to cover as much ground as possible before people get cold, so speed run as fast as you can. Ooh, a big camp. They can't be threatened by us, right? We're just gonna walk in, get our beacon, walk out, everyone will be happy. Petra's cold. God damn it, Petra. I told you she'd get cold way before she gets tired. I even had her collect stuff. Petra is freezing. Ah! Petra's always freezing. Should I even be... Should I even be... Oh yes, cold to become a Should I even be sympathetic at this point? What's this? The stakeout. Squad stops and hides in the bushes for a while. To the north, they can see the nomad encampment. It is in its center is the beacon. Troubling. The squad has to retrieve the data from the beacon to continue its quest to the Dome of Domes. From what they can make out, there are two possible ways to access it via the camp's well-guarded main entrance, or to the left, where there's a path around the camp heading westward. Squad has to make a has a choice to make a direct approach, whether using diplomacy or force, or a stealthy approach. Okay, look at all the people in that camp. Like, there's no way we're sneaking into the middle of that camp without anyone noticing. I'm seriously right here, and I feel like I have to. Actually, wait, no. You heal at the end of each level, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna let Petra take the damage because I'm like right there. The beacon's right there. But, uh, assuming this doesn't take long. Um, there are so many people in this camp, there's no way we're stealthing right into the middle of it, and there's no way we're fighting our way through. I'm hoping we can just chat and everything will be cool. Hi guys, what's up? The camp. The nomads instantly recognize the squad members as they approach. They greet them amicably and ask them why they have come. Oh, okay. So, so far so good. So far so good. Petra speaks of the beacon at the center of the camp. They need the data. It's essential for their mission. Okay. Nomads seem to understand the urgency of the squad's mission. They immediately let them pass. Hell yeah. 
Everyone is freezing. Ugh. I wonder, does... Does warm preset at the end of each level? Because I just don't want to use my wood, like, right here at the end. Like, there it is, the beacon. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> the beacon. The squad members gather around the beacon. Each one needs a moment to catch their breath. As the beacon's data is hacked, communication is established with the operator. After a standard report, the conversation turns to the savages. The gray people. The survivors living in the, in the living outside the domes. Out of curiosity, the operator asks the squad what they think of those people. Ash dwellers cannot be trusted. Come on, sit. They're just people trying to survive. This is true. No more dangerous than the inhabitants of a dome. <laughs> Some spite there. They're, they're good people. Hmm, hmm. Cali or Petra? Eh, let's say they're good people. They seem like... They welcomed us into their middle of their camp. Like, I mean, the four of us really aren't a threat, but they probably don't want anyone getting hurt, and we could at least do a little damage if we wanted to, so. I feel like they were they were helpful. We're gonna say they're good people. The squad feels positive about outsiders. The operator is surprised by this perspective, but doesn't insist they explain themselves further. Conversation ends. The squad can progress. As the data has been retrieved, the path to the north takes them into a new region. Ah, no. I'm still, still freezing. I thought that would be the end. Are we gonna get a? Are we gonna get a level end? Oh hush, hush. You're all fine. You're perfectly fine. This is fine. Everything's great. I think this is level end. Come on. If it's not, I'm seriously gonna have to make it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> No, are you? F I can't make camp here. Why? Oh my god! Let me camp. I can't set up camp right now. Oh wait. Oh, it's not cold. They're they're not losing warmth. Cool. Okay, so I'm good. <laughs> Fuma rolls. These fissures in the earth's crust are telltale signs of volcanic activity. You'd think it would be warm if there was volcanic activity. Can I camp? No, oh wait. It's fine. We're not freezing. I just said that. The Lava Lake. The squad members pick their way carefully across an underground lava lake guided by the savages. Oh, that's nice of them. They are good people. The savages point out the safest route and lead the scouts away from the lake. Thank you. The squad members thank the nomads for their hospitality and carry on their way. The quest is far from over, but they calmly... Oh, yeah. I was reading that. Day 33, the third squad leaves a volcanic tundra guided by the western nomads, who lead them in the direction of the next beacon in the heart of the Grey Mountains. Day after day, their final objective draws closer. Alright, let's see what we got. I feel like we fought a lot, but we we're also nice, so... <clears throat> oh yeah, there's all that diplomacy. Okay, scouts has changed to emissaries. Your squad seeks to communicate with strangers to avoid conflict and limit damage. Their preferred methods are negotiation, discussion, and bargaining. So, oh, that seems to give us some sort of status effects. Less health, more warmth, more food, more energy. That seems like a fair trade to me. Uh, oh, wow, we're very, very trusting. We got diplomats. Callie, is, Callie should be our leader.